This is Walter Barrett with the JTV News Update. Seven public officers were recognized as the government's employees of the quarter for the second quarter of 2011. The ceremony, which was held last week at the Maria's by the Sea Conference Room, recognized Carol Smith, Pauline Dawson, Jonat Glasgow Matthews, Heather James, Andrew Monsanto, Joseph Keynes, and Aisha Hill for their stellar performance. Offering congratulatory remarks at the event, his Excellency Governor Boyd McClary said the employee of the quarter ceremonies are important in helping to demonstrate the fact that the public service welcomes and pays tribute to those who perform well. The employee of the quarter initiative was launched in 2005 as a means of recognizing public officers who exceed expectations and set an example for their fellow public officers. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Labour and the Conservation and Fisheries Department are asking snorkelers, dive operators and other seagoers to exercise caution while at seas as the box jellyfish was sighted in local waters. Box jellyfish, also known as sea wasps, are a blue or transparent colored marine stinger which makes them difficult to detect in water. The bell-shaped jellyfish delivers a painful venomous sting from its long tentacles which can drift up to several feet behind its body. Marine biologist with the Conservation and Fisheries Department, Shannon Gore, said the stings are very painful. If stung, persons should rinse the area with vinegar to neutralize the firing cells and remove any remaining tentacles. Persons' tongue should be closely monitored and seek medical attention for anaphylactic shock or any other abnormal symptoms. Lifeguards have first aid kits in their possession with the appropriate initial treatment. Gore added that purple flags will fly on beaches indicating the presence of this marine life if detected. The Social Development Department is inviting all residents to participate in its second annual Back to School Supplies and Uniform Drive. This initiative, which started last year, aims to collect various school supplies to assist those who qualify in the community. Chief Social Development Officer Annie Malone Fred said the department remains sensitive to the current difficult economic climate, and with this in mind, they are again seeking assistance from benevolent community members and corporate BVI who are in a position to donate school supplies for children who may be less fortunate at this time. Malone Fred stated that stationary items such as copybooks, pens, pencils, book bags, rulers, erasers, sharpeners and new uniform apparel are welcome. Donations may be dropped off at the Social Development Department offices on Tortola and Virgin Gorda from July 25th to August 26th. The BVI national basketball team continued its bid to qualify in this year's CBC tournament on Tuesday evening when they took on host country Bahamas, but their unbeaten streak came to an end as the Bahamas handed the BVI their first loss in the championship, 80-61. On Monday, the national team defeated Bermuda 60-63 in their second game, a close game that was decided in the closing seconds of the game. The BVI is carded to play St. Vincent and the Grenadines next. This is Walter Barrett with the JTV News Update.